What's up guys? My name is Juan, also known as the Christian Barber. Welcome to the Christian Barber YouTube channel and welcome to my first series. So please forgive me, have mercy on me. I swore I did an intro for this series, but in the editing of the videos and looking for all my videos or looking through all my videos, either I deleted it by mistake, or I never recorded it. But I swore I did. In this series, we're gonna take my wife's sister's 2014 Honda Accord and give it a complete overhaul. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, I've been with my wife for about five years. We've been dated for like three. We've been married for about two. So far, so good, guys. We're doing good. In that time, her sister has always complained about her car. Uh, she's always had issues with the car um, and she is a hardworking single mother and uh, you know she's taking the car to mechanics uh, you know she's had people try to help her but uh, it sucks to say but you know a lot of mechanics take advantage of women so I have decided to take her car and fix it without her knowing so she has uh, come across some um, somewhat car trouble where she's not allowed to drive for a little while. And my wife was like, hey, you know, you want to give Juan the car so you could take a look at it? Cause you know, you're always having trouble. And she was like, all right, here, go ahead. I can't drive anyway. Take the car, go, you know, here are the keys, go take a look at the car. So I hijacked the car to work on it. And this is the series that we're going to work on the car. So I hope you guys enjoy the series. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But yeah, let's get to work and I hope you guys enjoy. So we're here at the shop, car's here. About to check it out. We can be Who's Poppy's tires? Yeah. Who's Poppy's tires? We're gonna lift it up, check it out. We got my man Hugo. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the car, see what's up, see what's going on, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Right, got a bad tire. Okay. 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 Ahora sí vamos a andarlo para ver qué le siento más. Pero no le veo nada más de problemas de suspensión y de terminales de bollones está bien. Okay. Ahora vamos a andarlo a ver. All right. Uh. Y Hugo, ¿cuántos años tiene haciendo esto? Toda mi vida, mijo. Soy Uf. profesional. Yo trabajé con Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. Wow. Yeah. So eso es mucho tiempo. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh.
test drive. We did the tires. We changed all four tires, brand new tires. And we did a full alignment. And I'm doing the first test drive and see how it feels. So far it's good. It was, the car was doing a little bit of humming. And it's not humming no more. Yeah, I think I had more mechanical issues in mind than I thought the car needed. But uh, a set of brand new tires and an alignment. You can make a difference. We got to do an axle. And uh, I put an order on that online because they, you know, when you buy from the store, it's almost like triple. Online is way cheaper, so I'm gonna wait for that in the mail. And uh, we did fix uh, one of the bolts in the motor mount was way too long for the motor mount, so we put the right bolt in it. Motor mount locked up. Engine feels nice and sturdy. Car feels great. So now we're gonna just go in and take care of the tab. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, no seatbelt. I keep thinking about the seatbelt. Seatbelts are locked, Pfizer, whatever. So, um, just telling people about what I'm doing is gaining traction in donations. Well, this channel, like I'm, it's like, I'm not driven by the money, but donations do help. Without donations, you know, a lot of this stuff can't be, uh, done. I'm gonna fund it how I can my way. I have a job. I work. I'm putting my own money towards uh, What I'm doing because I believe in it and I hope you know God blesses it and I'm doing stuff out of the the guidance of God so I Spoke to the owner great guy um, and I told him what I was doing and uh, <clears throat> That I'm helping out without you know, I'm not charging. I'm, I'm doing it for free and I just want to help out those who can use it and <clears throat> he cut off half of what the tires cost uh, the tires came out and I'm not trying to brag or nothing but it, it's just to give you an idea the numbers uh, of the numbers uh, the tires were 8, 840 for all four tires and he, he throws in the alignment for free but uh, when I told him what I'm doing he's a good friend of mine he's been a customer of mine the, I'm a barber, you know, I'm a barber. I've been cutting his hair for a while. Um, so when I told him what I was doing, he was like, oh, you know what? Just give me 440. So he dropped $400. So it comes out like, you know, it's, it's the goal is to help others give. God blesses those who give, right? But, you know, I'm not trying to be one of these people trying to take your money, put it in my pocket. I'm trying to do something good with the money. And uh, the ball has begun. And uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, you know, uh, God is providing as we walk through uh, these new adventures, I guess. But yeah, holla at y'all later. So what's up, guys? So I uh, just want to do a walk through the car. I want to show everything that I want to do to the car, everything I want to fix. Uh, it's funny because when I first drove the car, I made a longer list of what it really needs. It seems to be mechanically good uh just the, you know tires and stuff but uh yeah i just want to do a little walk through and just show you guys what i want to do to the car or what's going to get done and if god has something else in store then we do more the word says to always do above and beyond and that is my goal with every project i'm going to be picking up is to go above and beyond so let me just walk you through this car right here so off the back off the back, this car has the wrong hood. Uh, the car wasn't a minor fender bender, but uh, whoever repaired it put the wrong hood, but totally understandable. This car is a 2013, but somebody who repaired it before put a 2017, I think, or 2000, I think it's like 2016 front and up. I forgot exactly what year it is, but it doesn't line up with the grill. So it's causing some scrapes here. So number one off is we're gonna do is change the hood. I found one on eBay, same color. So possibly just go with that. If anything, we're gonna have to just buy a hood and get it painted. Also the paint is peeling off this hood. So whoever painted it did a horrible job. But other than that, the car looks great. We changed the tires, the tires are all brand new. And inside, we will get the car fully detailed. Uh, this is my junk here. The seats, I don't know if you can see, are kind of dirty. 
I don't know. You can, yeah, you can see it. But other than that, the car is pretty clean. It's just the seats are a little dirty. And we will get it fully detailed. This car is going to get a deep clean. It's going to look brand spanking new. The new tires got it running brand spanking new. And the tire, seat belts are locked. So we're going to get send those out to get rebuilt. That way, safety first, you know, seat belts are going to get done. You know, little vacuum. She does have a daughter, so kid does mingle back here. And kids tend to dirty cars a little bit. So we're going to clean this all up, make it nice and brand new. Everything clean, clean. We have the airbag. Definitely replacing the airbag. Airbag getting replaced. Seatbelt also locked. So, and we also on the dash, we have the airbag light. So I'm guessing the SRS module has to get reset. Uh, so we're gonna do all that. Uh, get the car doing brand new. So number one, we're gonna change that hood. Fix that little thing there. Number two, I think was clean the car. We're gonna detail the car. Number three is seat belts and the airbags and the SRS module get a reset, send all that in to get redone. So there, yeah. hood, seat belts, airbags, SRS module, detail. Mechanically, we already, we just did, we did the tires. Tires are done, car got aligned. We fixed uh, a motor mount on the passenger side that was very loose. Uh, so whoever did that put the wrong bolt in there, but we fixed that. And uh, the mechanic said the CV axle shaft on the passenger side the boot is broken and spits it spit out all the guts so yeah oh we didn't take a look at the engine let's take a look now so engine wise uh engine wise everything looks pretty good uh the only thing i noticed is that there's some like oil seepage over here and down in the bottom you can see it was like oil and you see that it's a little oily up here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the valve cover gasket. Uh, we're gonna change the air filter, probably the cabin filter, and give the car a tune-up. Spark plugs and you know possible fuel filter, and just do little tune-up things. Uh, and definitely clean. We're gonna give this engine a detail. Uh, and other than that, motor-wise, we seem to be good. We have no check engine light or nothing. So yeah, you yeah. know. On a hot summer day, I was raised calling it frio frio yeah you want some frio frio but i'm like wait a minute hold on 